Doug. And I'm Kathy. And, and this, this is Maggie, Maggie May. May. Join us as we follow the moon. Today we want to update you on a park that we've spent a lot of time at over the last few years, Thousand Trails Orlando. And they're starting off 2023 with a lot of new things going on. If you want a full overview of the park, we're going to put a link right up here to that video that we did a couple of years ago. But this is an update on a few things that have changed, new sites that are open, a lot of things going on. All good. Now here we're coming into the park on Route 27 from the south. And if you have never been to this park, do keep in mind they are very strict with noon check-in. You cannot make this turn until 12 o'clock on the dot or they will turn you around and send you back out. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you're coming into the park. They don't even want you in that turn lane. Yeah. Because you're blocking traffic. Now Thousand Trails Orlando sits quite a ways back off the road which keeps it nice and quiet. This is a park map and as you can see it's large. I'm going to guess around 1200 sites. The green circle was the new part that got added about two years ago. The red part's just been added within the last year. And this was our first time back in Florida staying here in the last year. So we hadn't seen that part of the park completed and everything else that changed. One of the changes for these new spots was as you went in on the right, there was a street called Propane Way. Propane Way is gone now and they have taken their propane and moved it out here by the office before you actually go through the guard gate. So that is all new and has been very busy from what we have seen this yeah. year. They do have propane and, and they are open for sale with it. So we're going to go past the office here on the left and come right back out to the uh, main road where we came in. Now when the other part, new part of the park opened, they put this extra lane in here, which has really been helpful. If you, uh, when you check in, they give you a four digit code. It will work that gate on the right hand side. So if there are rigs checking in here, you don't get caught in the shuffle waiting on them. But as soon as you go through the gate, you start to see all these RVs on the right. It was striking. It really kind of caught me by <laughs> surprise. Like, wow, they're clear out here yeah. now. Didn't that used to be where they did storage? Yeah, there was storage. Yeah. Propane way was up there and uh, it was just grass area. It wasn't anything. There's three rows in this area that just opened in the last year. We're going to take you down here to the end of that. All of these sites are concrete with a poured patio. Uh, they do not allow anything to be on the grass. So if you're wanting to use a clam, well, there was a clam, but it was actually over the, the uh, patio section. But if you're planning on putting anything in the grass, you'll want to go to one, you'll want to go to the older area of the park. They just really want to establish this, this grass. It's mm -hmm. also brand new. And it is really nice looking. Yeah, it, it's very pretty over here. There are not a lot of trees. There's not a lot of shade. It's not so bad this time of the, the year, but when you get on in towards summer and everything, uh, another reason I think we have always stayed in the older part of the park. We've never stayed in the newer part. And we're just kind of more comfortable over there. Okay, this is the far end of the newest section. And this is their RV storage now. That's really nice. It is. It's large. Uh, I think there's three or four rows of RVs there, all on pavement. So you're not parked in the, the grass or the dirt which for long term is great. Absolutely. And they're all numbered so they can identify your rig a lot easier. And we're gonna turn to the right and we're going to go back into 
as we heard it put the other day, the old news section. That's right. <laughs> I don't know what to all the call, but this is the yeah. part that opened up a couple of years ago that we'll be coming up to. Now, keep in mind, all of this section over here um, is about 300 sites, give or take. And um, there, a lot of the streets are one way. It's just done that way to make it easier for uh, controlling the width of the street and making it easy to get into your sites. Up here on the right is the bathhouse. It has still not opened, but it looks as though it's in its final steps before it does yeah. open. Yeah. The lights were on in there. There'll be a bathhouse and a laundry area. Right now, there is no bathhouse and there is no laundry area for any of these new sites. Now we're going to leave the new section and come on over here by the the main building, the lodge, I guess. And a lot has changed up here too. This place was busy. Yeah, there was the, one thing, and I think this is because we're seeing it now after COVID, because this was closed up here for months. But there are cars parked there all the time. It's really a hub. Well, you know how they say people um, don't get they don't appreciate something until they don't have it. Mm -hmm. Pre-COVID, it wasn't as busy either. That's right. <laughs> They've put in a big uh, half-court basketball over on the side that is busy all the time. The fitness center is now reopened. It had been closed mm -hmm. for months. The pool was completely redone and it's probably a little over a year ago. Yeah, it's There's this pool. There is uh, another matching pool to that just over here to the the right of that one there's the uh, hot tub and sauna they have put some shade up there so if you want to be there but in the shade the pickleball courts were already done and you still have the shuffleboard the miniature golf horseshoes all of those things along back behind where the pool is and they put in a really nice playground but this is one of the biggest changes that have happened there's now food service, and they're open from breakfast time up through, I believe, 7 in the evening. And it's a great menu. Yeah, it really is. And that's their setup for it. I have not seen the hot bar in use, but it's all set up there. And the mail room is still there on the left as you go out through the rear door. Now we're going down now towards the lake. And they have always had uh, where you could go into the uh, concession area and rent uh, kayaks or canoes. And that continues down here, but they've made a really nice beach area. They've changed the fence here along it. They've put new decking out on the pier and made a really nice little area. If you're into fishing, it's great. If you're not, you just want to come down and get some beautiful views. Uh, sunrises are, are beautiful out that way and sometimes you can even see the fireworks over at Disney. Yes, yes. Look at that water. I know, that's so beautiful. The sky and the reflection. So they did some nice cleanup and, and upgrades there. They put a few benches out that hadn't been there before. Um, it's just a real nice little area. Yeah. Now we're going to take a drive on around the park and want to show you the other area that has been kind of under construction for the past couple of years. And this is along the kind of back edge of the park. It used mm -hmm. to be along the pasture. Yeah. I hate to say that word because you see the white privacy fence there and they've planted bamboo all the way up along there. It's no longer pasture land. We used to watch the wild turkeys out there, watch the cows, Maggie go out and talk to them. That was the place for sunrise. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was our spot whenever we came to the park, mm -hmm. it was always back here along the back. We stayed away from there this year because on the other side of the fence, they're building new two-story homes back there, and there is some construction noise from it. 
Um, now, like I said, they've planted bamboo along there, so I don't have a lot of straight shots through there, but you can get an idea of what's going on in construction back there. So there has been a lot of changes going on in the park. Yes, there has. So, Kathy, what did you think of the changes so far in Thousand Trails Orlando? I think it just keeps getting better. They've added a lot of new things. The restaurant was a, a big plus, I feel, uh, even though we didn't get an opportunity uh, this visit to try it out, but I'm sure we will next. Yep. And uh, a lot of nice improvements as soon as they get the whole bathhouse laundry situation that they're working with right now under control they're going to be in great shape that's right so we uh we spent a lot of time in thousand trails if you didn't know that already be sure to check out our new year's video uh that we posted a few weeks ago but uh we work exclusively with a couple that are thousand trails sales professionals warren and sharon lewis two of the nicest most honest people you'd ever want to meet and if you want to find out how we camped for under under ten, way under ten dollars a night last year in thousand trails and encore parks give them a call because they can totally change the way you think about RVing that's right with that if you enjoyed the video today leave us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed please do so and ring that notification bell. That way you'll know when each and every one of our new videos are, are coming out. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.